Good morning, this is Alan Burgos. Welcome to our tutorial. What we will be talking today is related to functions. Okay, and uh, as you can see on this screen, we have the Microsoft Excel. So for the sake of this demonstration, we will be creating a data and our data is related to the length. Length. Sorry, length. Length and width. All right, what happened? Let me close this one first. Okay, and I want to um, to to compute the area of the square. Okay, area of square. There you are. Uh, invalid outside procedure because earlier I was doing the ano. Okay. There you are. Area of square. And for example, I will um, type here 23, 23, okay, 35, 63, 36, 96, uh, 69. Uh, 69 and 88, 95, 68, something like that. I would like to compute the area of square. All right. Now, if you take a look at it, if, for example, what is a function? Function, uh, the example of that is like this. Okay. For example, we have some function. Okay, we have average uh, average function. Okay, um, the product, okay, product function, etc. But there is no subtraction, no subtract. There is no subtraction function, no. So the reason why we have this function is for us to automate, no, uh, automate uh, what we are doing, no, automate things. So for example, sheet, sheet, sign. Uh, if there is no function according to your purpose, according to what you want to do, okay? So it's better for you to create function instead of, for example, instead of doing this, okay, you um, you subtract the first column and using the minus sign, all right, and then uh, subtract the second column, for instance, like that. No, so you don't, you do, you should not do that, okay? So you should create a function for you to use that function from time to time. Or from all over again. Okay, now, okay. So we have that column already. We will go to to the uh, Visual Basic for Applications. It's not there yet. Okay, now uh, we will go to Developer Menu, Visual Basic Day thing. Okay, now here, all right. Function. Sorry, function. Ah, uh, function. Area of area of Okay, underscore of underscore square or uh, maybe you can you can have also uh, area square or a, a square area it depends on the purpose of the variable all right so the name of the variable should be the name of the function or the name of the of the variable should be related to the function okay uh, to the purpose of it all right now okay let's have the uh, the Length, length, length of as integer, okay, as integer, with as integer as well, okay. Now, here in function, you could be able to return the value. For example, here you want to uh, return the value as Boolean, okay, you can do that. Or as, um, as integer, you could do that also, right? Now, as Boolean. Okay, but this time around, oh, we would not write that yet. Later, we would write that so that you could know. Okay, when you press enter, and function will will be written um, uh, automatically. The same thing with uh, n sub, right? Okay, now what we will do is write a code inside of this function area of square. Okay, area of oh, underscore of of underscore square. All right, and then equal sign. Sign 
and we would like to um, leg, length multiplied by okay width all right and then that's it okay width right let us see length width okay now there you are let's go here all right now when we press equal sign okay area of square it's there no areas areas uh, area of square it's there right okay when we press enter okay what happened okay wait long wait uh, invalid name error okay error option please calculation steps okay let's go back to visual basic for application okay yeah there are because okay this one with Let's try this. Okay. This one is with. Okay. Uh, equal sign. Area of square. What happened? Ah, because, wait now. With as, in, as integer or area of square. How about let's try to return the value return as okay return as as uh, integer okay all right no uh, something like that as integer okay now uh, sorry let's not run not, let's not run that but this time around we will go here okay uh, equal sign area of square all right equal sign area of area of square uh, uh underscore all right area of underscore of 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 the square all right now area of square okay, this one right comma this one all right enter there are 529 now we will just copy that one okay there you are all right okay so area of square e e7 f7 okay so when we multiply that okay, 23 times 23 23 times 23 that's 529 okay so we are correct so para it's 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 like this one no uh, we we multiply okay multiply and then multiply this one it's the same thing all right uh, 529 okay now um okay uh, so we should have a return value here no as integer for example we would like to enter this one uh, re the return value is boolean Okay, Boolean. Okay. Yeah, there you are. Okay, what um when we try to use that one again, we go to Excel. Okay, this one. Uh there you are. Look at this. Yeah. Instead of returning, returning at the number, it returns a Boolean. All right. So for example. Uh, we would like to use uh, double there, double. Okay. Yeah, there are as double. Uh, look at this. What happened? Yeah, there are. All right. It's the same thing, but um, yeah, there are. All right. So it will just include the decimal point if um um. Yeah, it it will just include the decimal point point if it's applicable. All right. So again, this is Alan Burgos. I hope you learned something from today's session. Okay, if you learned something, please do not forget to subscribe. Okay, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video, share it. All right, and then enjoy enjoy the rest of the day. This is Alan Burgos, and see you uh, tomorrow for another lecture.